When seismic interpretation migrated to the workstation in the late 1980s and early 90s, software tried to emulate workflows used to interpret paper sections. Effectively, look at one line at a time, do what you can, and move on. As workstations became more powerful, 3D visualization capabilities were incorporated into the software, and a number of software vendors now provide a cornucopia of tools to enable interpretation in a 3D window or canvas, but they also provide a lot of functionality for what I call the serial interpreter, the 5x5 or 10x10 guy, just like you can see on the screen now. So why do people still interpret like this? Well, that's the way they learned. Either they started on paper or early workstations, or they were taught by someone that learned that way. In fact, if you do a software vendor course, you'll most likely be taught that way too. It's a cycle that's not easy to break. But I want more from an interpreter than that. I want a modern interpreter. With the right skill set, the modern interpreter, working almost exclusively in the 3D window, is making decisions in 3D, immersing themselves in the full data set, working much more efficiently by committing less early on as interpretation builds up organically. The modern interpreter is leveraging the volume manipulation tools within the software to bring a third dimension of context to each decision, a process I call dynamic visualization. And the modern interpreter is an effective collaborator and communicator because they are able to immerse their colleagues, their managers and their joint venture partners in their decision process. Third Eye Geoscience offers the Modern Approach to Seismic Interpretation Workshop, which is now in its fifth year. It uses the Petrel Suite from Schlumberger. It's not a software course, and it's not a course on the fundamentals of seismic interpretation. It's a workshop that shows geoscientists how to interpret better, how to make better decisions faster. It's a consolidation of the skills you have with a cogent set of workflows that streamline the interpretation process with one goal, build a framework of horizons and faults. Nothing a geoscientist does from that point on matters if the framework is not right, so this is the focus. To that end, we build a structural model during the course using volume-based modelling tools in Petrel. Our aim is not to generate a stack of poorly linked surfaces, but a watertight network of horizons and faults. This is a process that's scalable from development through to broad-scale exploration and has repeatedly proved to be faster and more reliable than traditional surface-by-surface -surface gridding approaches. Because we know this is where we're going, the interpreter learns along the way to keep the interpretation on the rails. Let's call it modelling compliant interpretation. This, in turn, further contributes to a higher quality interpretation result. The latter part of the workshop focuses on what I have bundled together as stratigraphic reconnaissance. It looks at generating volume and surface attributes, including spectral decomposition, and how we can visualize our surfaces using volume rendering. This is a horribly underutilized tool set that the workshop places back in the hands of the journeyman interpreter. To finish the training off, we take some time to look at how the skills acquired during the week can be applied to 2D data, which always gets a rise as people start seeing the numerous advantages of working 2D in the 3D window with a set of tools that they've picked up during the training. Because it's a workshop, the training has a maximum capacity of six people. This ensures that participants receive ample one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. There is some preamble on the first day, but most of the course involves the gradual introduction of new skills followed by the instructor circulating through the participants. The flow of the course simulates a week in a data room. Participants make well correlations, tie wells, interpret the faults and some of the horizons for a small 3D. They take their own horizons and faults through to the modelling and volume rendering. A group of this size can easily gather around a workstation to see how we troubleshoot problems, giving them confidence to tackle similar issues back at their workstations. The skills acquired during the training are honed by the time the participants get back in seat the next week and the interpreter can hit the ground running when returning to their project work. The last thing I want to add is that this course has a wide gamut of earth scientists through its doors, from exploration managers through to graduates. It's also a great way to get employees crossing over from other interpretation software into Petrel without having to do a vendor course. Third Eye Geoscience also offers follow-up services in the form of desk-side mentoring, both in person or virtually via low latency, high frame rate sharing software. So if you'd like to discuss your training requirements, whether it's company-wide best practices or new starters that are unfamiliar with Petrel, please get in touch with me, Mike Gidding. I'll leave you with some testimonials gathered as part of the course feedback process. Thanks for your attention.